it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. I am here with the amazing Anne Reardon from How to Cook mm. That. You may recognize her from a collab I did when I made a recipe book, but if you're not familiar with her work, do you want to explain a little bit about what you do? Sure, I love what you do, and that recipe book was amazing, it was really good and I filled it up with recipes. I have the YouTube channel How to Cook That and I make crazy sweet creations, chocolates, cakes and desserts. It's amazing, you need to check it out. So today we're going to make some galaxy aprons. I thought it'd be fun to make this with Anne. You may recognize this from my past video I did on galaxy print. I did it on paper, but a lot of you have asked what would that look like on fabric. So today I will show you how to do that. So for doing this galaxy effect on fabric, I like to use a sponge and we're just going to jump into this. I like to start with blue and just do like a dab here. I like a flat surface because it can really get on the sponge. You wanna start making clouds. Galaxy is full of stardust, so you just wanna like make a cloudy type of effect and you can brush it or you can stamp it. And do you add the other colors on top later? Yes, so I like to start with the blue and then I like to go for the purple and the red and just kind of mix it from there. And you can always go over it if you don't like how that color came out. Go over it with a different color. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You just kind of smudge it, brush it on. How come your hands are staying clean and mine are blue? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're doing like a vortex. Yeah. It's and like, do you put it over the top or around the side? Or yeah, it you really can matter? like go over the top or on the sides, kind of like feather the color out. It does look kind of like, how is this going to look like a galaxy? But once you put the stars on, that's when it really I think pops. I've automatically gone symmetrical and it's kind of looking like a butterfly <laughs> galaxy. You can, you can interpret it. I'm gonna add want. more over here so it doesn't look like a butterfly. <laughs> this is your galaxy. Yeah, and I'm stealing some of your blue. Okay, yeah, I go for it. One. What ingredients do you think are going to get on this apron? Usually, <laughs> usually, usually it. melted chocolate melted is usually chocolate. what drips onto clothes. <laughs> Flour and stuff, not so much. Although if my four-year-old is baking, then definitely <laughs> everything is gonna get on this apron, like flour, sugar. What I always get on me when I try to bake is flour. It gets everywhere. Are you about ready for the stars? I reckon I'm ready for stars. Okay. For the stars, I've mixed some water with some of the fabric paint, and you just wanna do a little water because it will get really watery and when it's really watery, the stars don't show up as well. When there's a lot of paint on your brush, that's when you can make the really big stars kind of flick. Once that gets off a little, then you can make like the tiny clusters. So just get a feel for it and kind of get the bigger stars. And when you want the little stars, you can go in for the details and make really clusters. Now it looks like a galaxy all of a sudden. Yeah. Now you've added stars. Yeah. It's like the, the finishing touch, it's what makes it. Load up your paintbrush if you need to again. The closer you are to the apron, the more control you have. And you can also do this with a toothbrush if you don't have a paintbrush. Just not the toothbrush you use. No, don't, do not use the toothbrush you use. I have a comment there. <laughs> if you have a line, you can make it into a comment. <laughs> I comment. These look amazing. I love how your apron turned out. Thank you so much for joining me and making these with me. Thank you for having me. I love yours as well and you're a great teacher. Well, thank you. And be sure to check out the challenge I did on Anne's channel. It's the Bean Boozled Challenge. And if you haven't already, definitely subscribe to her. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, Sea Lemon, be sure to do that as well. And I will see you guys next time.